guys welcome back to libra light today is the no communication reading i always have music before i sit down for a reading welcome back my loves now these are always very difficult videos to take in all i ask is you take what's yours leave the rest behind for somebody else on the pre-shuffle just two circular cards gluttony and wise person just give me a moment here it says enlightened it also says in unconventional healer, wisdom, well-informed, wise person. Okay, you see the moon energy there. I know it's signaled by a divine feminine here, but guys, this is also you, our masculines on the channel. You could be complimented even at this time for your wisdom. You could be sharing it with friends and family. They could be really impressed by you, okay, that you're spot on. You could be calling things as they happen. That's also what I'm getting here gluttony what i asked for the person's behavior you dealt with during no communication as well so gluttonous is uh it's a very self-serving action obviously it says here poor diet it also says fasting or deprivation this person's probably not in good condition at this time maybe looking for you um it seems like it's almost like concentrating on the fasting with those cakes okay it also says at this time, their lesson is to see the bigger picture and the trauma is physical abuse. So they could feel like uh, this is a childhood trauma going back all the way back to what they seen as a child could have even affected the relationship they had with you. It's seen there with tasty treats, okay? Or this first person could be filling their time or consuming a lot of these sweet treats as you've been gone. There's something about that here. Like they've been kind of enjoying in your absence, but with food, okay? Or filling the soul, trying to repair that emptiness. And I do feel like it's because you're gone, Libra. It was very funny on the pre-shuffle, you got Mercury retrograde early this morning and you also have Spy. Yeah, somebody's looking at you, okay, from your social media or doing a little scanning is what I call it. I think it's more to check if you're okay, okay? We're going to go to Cosmic Insights for no communication, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what else other messages for you want to come out. For those going through the pain of divorce, separation, breakup, no communication is always zip, no talking. So let's see here. Besides gluttony and wise person on Libra's end, what else does Libra need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Three cards. This could have involved issues with intimacy. Okay. Now, if I could describe to you the like etching art, it says it's actually of two couples, but it's very like dotted. Okay. You have to really look at the photo to see them embracing, looking like from yesteryears, the past. It says sexual chemistry and reminiscing. Operative word being reminiscing there. Intimacy could have been a problem. Uh, one of you like withheld in this relationship, big time. Withheld maybe at the end here of no communication or the start of no communication. We have communicate in the no communication reading. This has never come out. So I find it quite funny. Compromise, forgive at this time, work it out. Communicate. Okay, what else do you got? distance and there's the distance some of you could have been in a long-term relationship let's say here libra you live in texas this person could live in new york as per example you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant very specific message like i feel like we rarely get distance as an accord in our videos to refer to next on shuffle manifest tell the universe exactly what you want so if you're looking for new love, if you're looking just to heal properly, okay, meet somebody new through healing properly, you have the manifest card here with the prayer. Prayer stands very peaceful. Manifestation. In between the hands, too, are roses. If you look really, really close, some roses are blooming there. That's like an appropriate healing for somebody. I see in a lot of your cards today, there's a lot of reference to food and plant life. So maybe there's a message there, or um, maybe that's something close to the two of you that you shared, okay? We're gonna get some finite details here with the fairy deck. What does this person wanna say? Thank you. <laughs> Gotta drop it all appropriately. What does this person wanna say to their dear Libra? 
if we were to peer into their house at this time or where they dwell, what are the innermost thoughts? That's in spot two here, Libras. Okay, thank you. Innermost thoughts, workplace romance, common cause connection. Some of you could have met them in the workplace. They're a coworker. Maybe both of you stopped talking because of this, because coworkers were all up in your business. So I kind of feel like this happened. It could have freaked you out at first, Libra, because there were too many people that may have seen what was going on. I'm heavily getting that. There is the workplace romance card. What else? Real feelings. You share true romantic feelings worth exploring. This reminds me of a twin flame dynamic. Uh, they could have disconnected right when you guys were getting close. I'm getting something like that. Like right as things were about to hit off. I feel like it ended. One more message for Libra, please. Thank you. We have spirit, soul path, and twin flame connection. It says, follow the path to ascension. The other one says, a personal evolution will wake within this relationship. Okay? So I'm going to move on because we have a limited time here to explore tarot. What did I want to use? Let's go with the awaken just for today. Libra light splitter. We got the seven of swords. Someone's being sneaky. We also have the Eight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's leave these cards on deck. Hi, Empress. There you are, just sitting lovingly, sitting pretty at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person has you on their mind, okay? But this is trickster energy, the Seven of Swords. Somebody plotting, strategically plotting, is what I'm hearing. Show me the no communication energy for... Uh, for today, for Libra. No communication energies, please. One more shuffle, Libras. No communication energy if they are not speaking Libra and their person. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to go off the first three cards. The Seven of Wands. The Death card. Ending. Some of them could have been a Scorpio or you're dealing with Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Cups in the spot you don't see. That was actually in our community spread this morning. Um, you also have the Six of Cups here too. So let's look at some cards here. Somebody wants to meet up with you, okay? And if you notice, I didn't say reunion. I feel like it's something small. Small offering, small thing to see you. Um, small invitation as well. Emphasis on the small. Six of Swords and the Six of Cups. There's two sixes here. That is a number of balance, harmony, okay? Someone wants to bring this back into the relationship. Road is safer waters with you. Possibly heal with you too, okay? But I think they sense, do you see how this woman is cloaked here, Libra? I feel like they want to be the one rowing the oar and help you along. Even if this person caused you pain, some of you, that's a message from divorce. They want to help raise the kids with you. They want it to be like how it was with the Six of Cups. Okay, let's see a little bit more here. Show me the Six of Cups energy. If Libra were to come back, tell me a little bit of the story of what would happen here. Please show me some majors. I love to see the majors come out. Thank you, Spirit. Top of the deck, Libras. Page of Swords, Justice card, hello. Beautiful energy. We got the justice here in your defense, in your court. Someone thinks you have options, okay? You've talked to too many people. You're exposed to too many people. That's what they're thinking, but Libras, it's not the truth, okay? I feel like this person just deigns to believe that there are people around you. What does Libra see in their court? Queen of Cups. Okay, so you have a beautiful energy here. This is Scorpio. You could be a Libra Scorpio cusper. What's funny is this person's showing a lot of caring emotion and they're emitting it into the atmosphere, wanting to turn the wheel of fortune along with you. I see two hands like conjoining, wanting to work together. Let's look at that wheel of fortune. Why does this person want the wheel of fortune with Libras? Why do they want to turn this with Libra? And I do, it's not like I see you so low, Libras. I feel like this person wants to turn it with you. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So the Eight of Pentacles, as you know, is working with you. This is you. This is a truth. Maybe they want to tell you where they've been, okay? If they saw somebody else, if they were dealing with other people, 
and I mean like friends. It doesn't have to be the other woman or the other man. This is just dealing with other people. For some of you, and this is a very specific message, they were dealing with some of your people, meaning your family. They were talking to them almost behind your back too. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Why is, uh, why is this person bringing a, or trying to bring a clarity or understanding to the Libran? Thank you. One more card. I'm going to get the flipper. I saw it flip. Yep. Five of Cups. That's what I was thinking, feeling, and adhering to. I could feel it. It was like, it's going to be a five of, of one of them. It's going to be five of wands or five of cups, intuitively. Someone feels messed up for what they did to you, okay? I feel like this is someone who even has the nine of swords feeling, like can't sleep. Maybe gluttonous. That's probably why we got the gluttony card today of the cakes. <laughs> if you guys remember the little tiny pound cakes. And we have the ace of wands. See, someone here is concerned about what to bring to you. You know how there's a who, what, when. This is a what. This is a what. Show me here the ace of wands, please. Show me the ace of wands for Libra. Thank you. Chariot card. Want to bring new gifts, new relationship vibe. For some of you too, it's a part of this person's sorry. It's a part of the apology. And I think that you're going to get it in a small gift. Gift. Um, it's about burying the hatchet. Not necessarily here. I don't see a relationship. It's just looking good in your eyes. But you're the king of swords. The king of swords is here upright. This is Gemini. It's considered by Gemini. It's Gemini's card. The king of swords is a moral card. It's a moral high ground. Okay. Very direct person. Also, if you look, um, he's from, he's definitely from that movie. Um, what is it? It's so funny. But the Hangover. Doesn't it look like the Hangover guy? <laughs> the doctor. I don't know if you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, I kind of feel here that something's going on. This is what stops them from speaking to you in no communication, Libras. It's like your sword is up and then they continue to have these sleepless nights over you. So I want to look into the five of cups. Let's see what this person's going to do. Future actions, please. Future actions, please. Future actions of the five of cups character, person, uh, Libra's past person, possibly, if this is a current no communication. Thank you much. Two cards, the three of wands and the star. Yeah, you know what? I feel like they're waiting for you to come in, Libras. Bottom of the deck is the world. They know it closed out with you and you see the star being here at the end. You could have dealt with an Aquarian too, even though they view you as the star, okay? I think they want to wrap up something that feels in unjust to you. That's the word I'm getting is, I was unjust. I just want to correct it, even though nothing here might even become of us ever. That's what I'm getting, okay? No communication. If you resonated, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope this helped many of you, all of you. And remember, you're looking like this to the person. So something here with you, the steps, the potential hope and healing, you navigated yourself out. I would be very careful if this person is somebody that you want to talk to in the future. Please beware. Bye-bye, Libra.